Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards have for you at this particular point in time. Uh, just a reminder guys that this is a general reading, but I believe that if you've clicked on this reading, I feel like you're here for a reason. Something here has um, led you to the reading. A lot of swords energy and of course swords governs um the mental realm so think you know thoughts your attitudes your beliefs and i feel like this is a sign for the person that you know this reading is meant for i think this is a sign for you to really pay close attention and uh, really notice what you're thinking and how your thoughts make you feel okay because there is a little bit of stress or a little bit of anxiety being depicted in the reading here and in the messages and it really feels like some of your some of what you're thinking some of your thoughts could potentially be making you a little bit more stressed or making you feel unwell or a certain way so i think this is your sign to pay really close attention to what you're thinking and the energy that you're putting out there because ultimately especially with the presence of the wheel of fortune whatever you put out you get back okay so the energy that you put out comes back to you if you think good thoughts you know you get good energy um if your thoughts aren't so positive uh you know you attract similar type of situations there's definitely a movement being indicated here and there's definitely some things that i think are going to take a rather sudden almost a dramatic shift for you especially in terms of like relationships or friendships right i feel like you potentially could hear from someone whom you haven't heard from in a very long time someone whom maybe you've been in a no contact uh type of situation with this person or maybe this is someone whom has just fallen off your radar someone whom you've been in a bit of a you know a separation or a disconnection with i feel like someone here could just reappear someone could make a reappearance in your life someone could potentially reach out you might potentially hear about this person okay through a friend or through a mutual connection and something that they may say may really get you thinking about this person or may even prompt you to reach out to them yourself um, but i do think that there's going to be someone here either that is going to show up in your life or you're going to hear from someone or you're going to be the one that's going to reach out but i do think that this is someone who's going to respond very quickly to you it almost feels like this person has been waiting for you to reach out first or they've kind of been waiting to hear from you so don't be surprised if you get a text back from this person like within minutes when you actually reach out to them wheel of fortune could also indicate that there's going to be a sudden like sudden action is going to be taken towards you or you're the one that's going to be taking a uh, sudden action uh, communication i feel like communication out of the blue or something really in, um, unexpected something you didn't necessarily anticipate happening happens um whether you hear from someone whether someone reaches out or whether something just suddenly maybe you were anticipating but maybe you just weren't anticipating for whatever this is to happen as soon as it does something happens out of the blue something happens very quickly for you there's or maybe there's like a sudden shift in plans you know um you were supposed to do things this way and it was supposed to happen you know within months from now and then all of a sudden a really sharp turn in your plans a really sudden shift and now it's happening within a matter of days or weeks rather than months so something happens here and i think your job is to go with it the wheel of fortune reminds us that everything in life is in constant progress and is in constant movement um, it's also probably a good time it could also be another sign for you to start preparing like start doing the work lean into whatever it is that you're hoping for right um, and not just like with manifestations and intention and visualization that's great but you also got to take the action so you know if there's a new job you want to apply for make sure your resume your skills are up to par 
um, if there's you know something here that you feel like you qualify for make sure make sure like whatever it is you're fine-tuned it um, or some of you could be planning a move you know even if things aren't necessarily finalized just yet you can start packing you can start organizing you can start get, getting yourself ready on you know on some level so it feels like now's a really good time to kind of expect the unexpected but even if you were expecting it it still becomes unexpected because i feel of because i feel that something he just suddenly like there's this breakthrough something just suddenly happens um and the thing is the wheel of fortune reminds us that you know this is destiny this is the hands the hands that spin that wheel is the hands of destiny the hands of fate so whatever is meant for you you know it's going to it's meant for you and it's going to happen for you right regardless whether it happens in your timeline or outside of your timeline it will still happen for you so whatever it is that happens for you he or whomever you hear from or whomever you're going to meet or connect with understand that this is destiny understand that this very thing or this very person or you know this connection was meant for you okay there's something very special and faded about this um I feel like there's some sort of decision that you have to make and I feel like you're going to be extremely busy. I know I said this was a love reading and whilst I do think that you're going to be hearing from someone whom you're going to be really surprised and I think excited to hear from and some of you potentially could be connecting with someone. Okay, you could be um, connecting with someone new um, and something and it's something that's going to happen unexpectedly and out of the blue. Um, outside of that, I do think that there's a lot going on here. Uh, when it comes to your thoughts and um, decision making, you know, what's going on with you internally. Uh, I feel like you're going to be busy and I feel like you're very busy right now. So much so that it almost feels uh, overwhelming as well. And I feel like there's some sort of important decision that's kind of looming and it's getting closer. And you're a little bit into minds about it. You're a little bit undecided. There's also this energy of you wanting t to start something, but you're hesitating it's a project or it's like a second income stream or you want to take a hobby turn it into a money-making id you want to get started on something but you're hesitating the thing is i feel like whatever it is that you have this is a good id right and i think that you have like you see the potential in it um but if you keep hesitating if you keep sitting on this or sleeping on this I just don't think it's going to happen for you because the very thing that it's lacking right now is the action is the action or the belief in it because you've got some sort of good idea but there's something here that you're hesitating about and look maybe it just means that you have to do a little bit more research maybe it just means that you have to be a little bit more um you know you, you got to believe in yourself a little bit more um but there's something here that's blocking you or there's something here that's stopping this thing from manifesting or stopping this thing from happening and look maybe it's not the right time but there is something here that i feel like should be happening and if there's any delays that you're experiencing understand that there's some sort of opportunity behind this delay understand that there's this delay right is trying to teach you something or is trying to tell you something so take a moment um and you know take a moment and pause and see what is it that's not working and how you can you know what you might need to take a closer look at or what you might need to rework or restructure um, there's also something here that I feel like is keeping you stuck I feel like to the person that I'm connecting to right I feel like you want to take some action but Again, there's this energy of hesitation. And I think the energy behind the hesitation is an energy of fear. I feel like you are scared to either reach out or you're scared to make contact. Um, you might be scared to vocalize yourself. Um, you might be scared to have that conversation. You may be scared to start the project. There's this energy of fear that I feel like is really controlling you. And it's controlling. Um, it's so powerful that it's sort of... It's, it's what's keeping you stuck. It's what's keeping you stagnated. So... You know, the reason that you're not getting started or the reason why you're not doing the thing that you should be doing isn't because you don't have all the resources or isn't because you don't have enough time. Um, you know, there's, 25, there's 24 hours in a day. You can't buy extra time, right? So it's all about how you manage it. Um, and the reason you're not getting started is not because of, you know, this or that. It's because there's a fear that's holding you back. But you have to understand, you have to try and understand what is it, 
what is the exact fear, right? What, what is it a fear of? And why is the fear so strong that it then is controlling you or manipulating you? Um, but it's definitely not your time or your resources or even your money situation. Those are excuses that you're making for the fear that you're feeling. And the thing is, it's your mindset, right? There's something here that you believe that is not serving you. It's, um, it's a very self-limiting belief. Maybe you feel like you're not going to be successful or if you reach out, this person won't respond or, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking here, it's, it's not doing you good. It's not doing you good to have thoughts that are keeping you stuck, that are keeping you stagnated. Um, so there's definitely something that you have to cut ties with and it feels like it's more like a, a belief or an attitude you have or a mental paradigm or some sort of mental program. It needs, you need detaching, you need uh, to, you know, move away from this. Um, I also feel like if there is someone here whom you're connected to, I feel like there's someone here that's been really thinking about you lately and it could be this person that we spoke about at the start of the reading, you know, the person that's going to suddenly reach out to you. The thing is, it may appear to you, and it will appear to you probably that way, that this person is just suddenly reaching out to you out of the blue, especially what feels like a um, after a long time of no communication. But the thing is, I feel like there's someone here, like this person has been thinking about you for quite some time. You've really been on their mind and they've been thinking about reaching out, but they too have been hesitating. They too have been holding back. And suddenly I feel like, you know, they're just going to rip off the bandaid and do it. I feel like there's someone here who has been really stressing about, it's like they're panicking or they're stressing. Um, maybe they're so nervous to speak to you. Maybe they're scared to reach out. Maybe they're scared to have a conversation. Maybe they're scared, you know, about how you're going to reply. Maybe they feel like you're no longer um, interested in them. Like there's all these different overwhelming thoughts that are kind of orbiting around in their mind. And so I feel like this person, despite the fear that they feel and the, the nerves that they feel, they feel like they have to reach out to you. They feel like there's something here that they have to say. There's, there's some sort of sense of urgency um, this, they're also in a bit of a panic. So I don't know if this person feels like you're in a relationship um, or they sense something like that. Um, but there is some sort of, like, they're in a panic. And when they'll reach out, you'll notice that they're going to be really insistent on seeing you or catching up with you for lunch. It feels like this person, rather than text or call, it feels like this person wants to see you face to face, wants to, you know, be, have that conversation like right in front of you see you uh, look into your eyes feel your uh, presence uh, that kind of energy um, there's a lot that's going on with you mentally or emotionally and internally it just feels like the energy is a little bit frantic um, a little chaotic um, and it feels like you've got a lot on your mind um there's a lot of ideas. You may have a breakthrough of ideas. You may have um, a very, it's like a very inspired energy. It just feels like, okay, it feels like there's a lot of energy that you're storing internally, but the energy that you're storing internally is not being released like externally. You're just storing it. So there's a lot, and I feel like some of you may feel very jittery. Um, some of you may feel like, a little bit antsy like you want to get things done but you don't know where to start there's a lot of that energy um, and so I feel like you need to find a way to exert or expel um, some of that energy you know whether it's through uh, physical activity fitness walking bike riding or whether it's through uh, because there's a lot of mental energy maybe journaling maybe meditation or any like um, relaxing practicing any like relaxation techniques just anything like that to sort of get your mind to still because there's a lot of, it feels like there's a lot of noise in your mind it feels like there's a lot of noise and it's feeling a little bit chaotic there's a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts that are circling back going back and forth um and i think this is affecting your sleep some of you i feel like haven't been sleeping well lately some of you have been really stressing about something just remember 
um, remember that, you know, whatever is meant for you will not miss you. It will happen for you. It cannot, right? It cannot not happen for you. If it's meant for you, it will happen, right? If any doors closes or if any opportunities um, don't unfold, it's because those doors, you know, whatever closes behind those doors were not meant for you. So just take comfort in the thought that things are working out for you and whatever isn't working out may be a part of the divine plan, right? May all be a part of the plan. Um, for those of you that like write or that are creatives or that feel really inspired now, there's an energy, there's a very creative energy about you right now. And I think this is a really good time to you know, put your thoughts on paper or in, translate or interpret your thoughts, whether it's through music, photography, writing, you know, um, design, you know, whatever, uh, whatever appeals to you. But I think now's a really good time to find a way, yeah, to jot those thoughts down or to translate them somehow, because I feel like there's a lot of ideas that you're being inspired with, um, a lot of different a lot of creative energy that is flowing through you it's just you need to find you need to give it a home you need to give it a place where it can settle right um communication is going to be very important over the next couple of i'm going to say weeks even months um it's going to be very important possibly even till the end of the year i think that there's going to be i feel like you're a lot more communicative and i feel like uh, business maybe could be picking up maybe you're you know there's a lot of emails that you're exchanging with clients, with potential leads. Um, I think you're very busy and I feel like maybe you know, uh, you're very busy socially. Maybe there's a lot of social invites that are coming your way. Um, a lot of, yeah, invitations. You're doing a lot of things. But I feel like there's also, to me, it feels like you're lining something up here. Um, some of you, yeah, you may, you, maybe you're expecting a move or a, like... Maybe you're traveling really soon, but to me it feels like you're trying to get everything organized. And it feels like there's some sort of deadline. Like you feel like there's a deadline you have to meet, there's a deadline you have to reach, or some things happen, need to happen here before a deadline. And so the energy feels a little bit chaotic, the energy feels a bit frantic. I think everything will happen, even if it's like really close to the deadline, but I think you're going to make it. Um, and to be honest with you, as stressful as whatever it is that you're feeling now is I think you're going to look back at it and it's like there's also an element of excitement to it and I think you're going to look back at it at it like um and just smile to yourself you know with fond memories knowing that despite everything that was happening you know you made it you you got this done even if it was just in the nick of time kind of thing so everything is going to work out everything is going to be okay this is your confirmation um, I just think you have to pay like pay closer attention to what you're thinking and also what you're feeling because what you think affects how you feel, how you feel affects what you think, right? So pay really close attention. Um, for those of you, I think there's a decision that you're really struggling with and once you make up your mind, I feel like you'll feel a little less tired and a little bit less exhausted because this decision, I think, is really taking up so much of your energy. It's um yeah it's just it's been taxing it's been really taxing on you once you make up your mind you'll feel better about it all right guys and these are your messages thank you for your time your energy your attention please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already bye for now